Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. So looking at one of the Galaxy's Edge Trading Post exclusive figures. Um, these recently were released to uh, Targets in the US as part of a big sort of cross promotion um, deal with Disney with the, with the theme park Galaxy's Edge. Um, as it turns out, the last few days, um, these have started showing up at Big W here in Australia. So uh, these are available now um, across most of the country. Uh, I know South Australia, where I am, um, apparently got their shipments a little bit early to avoid any delays caused by like border closures and and any other delays with uh, COVID. So. Um, I decided to grab a couple today. I got myself another Mountain Trooper and I picked up Captain Cardinal. Um, I do already have DJ Rex and Hondo Inaka. So they're the four figures that are out available at the moment. Uh, they retail a little bit more than uh, normal Black Series uh, down here. They are $49 each, which is a little steep. Um, but considering the exclusives that come out in Zing are 55 and standard sort of price these days is anywhere between sort of 35 and 45 so um, depending where you shop 49s probably you know around the mark these days it is a little higher um, 35 is doable sort of around don't really like going over 40 but nevertheless I have here Captain Cardinal now while he hasn't made any appearances in the theme parks as yet um, he does have a vital um, part in two books that do relate. Uh, first of all, he is one of the main sort of protagonists in, uh, sorry, antagonists in uh, the fa the novel Phasma. Um, he also makes an appearance in Black Spire. Um, that's sort of a semi-main character. Um, and yeah, he's, he's uh, you know, it's a pretty simple repaint. It's not even a repaint, but uh, you know, it looks pretty good, but uh, you know, there's the side of the box. That was what differentiates them from the rest. There's a little right up there on the back. If you'd like to check that out. And there is the sort of the little tag on the front there. This is transported from Trading Outpost at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So uh, yeah, it's, from what I've been told, these are coming in full cases um, here down in Australia at least. So you're getting four boxes of Cardinal, four boxes of uh, DJ Rex, Hondo, and the Mountain Trooper. So I was under the impression that Commander Pyre was also going to be a part of the assortment, but it doesn't seem like that's the case now. So we've got Captain Cardinal. Let's open him up and have a closer look. All right, so here is Captain Cardinal, also known as Archex uh, in the book. I believe that's how it's pronounced. It could be Archex. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go with Archex. That's how I said it. Now this is a not a repaint. It's a remold. It's a recasting. Um, it's cast in red plastic, so it's not technically it's not a repaint, or you could just call it a repaint. Same with the blasters. Um, this is the same version of the most recent uh, First Order Stormtrooper. Um, has the added elbow articulation and the sort of change sort of helmet, the ones that they did for when they did The Last Jedi. Um, I think which kicked off with that sort of deluxe Stormtrooper that came out. Um, now as you notice he has a cape that sort of falls very similar to Captain Phasma's. Um, in all the prom promo art for this guy his cape is on the other side so there's that little inaccuracy um, already with this figure but it's an easy oversight. It's something I don't really care about. He's still got it. Uh, it's not plastic and soft goods which looks good um the most recent phasma which is the one with the uh, smashed helmet she came with the soft goods whereas the first release um for force awakens had a plastic cape um and i did actually switch them out because i liked the full phasma the full regular phasma with a soft goods cape instead and this one looks better as well so obviously with the silver line um it's a little bit creased from being in the packaging um but that's okay. Probably if I rinse it with some water and just let it let it dry out, that'll be fine. Um, he does have his blaster pistol, which attaches to his leg, which is nice. And he has the uh, blaster rifle, which is the same as Captain Phasma's, but in red instead of the uh, gold, but it's meant to be silver <laughs> that Hasbro gave it. I, again, I swapped out that blaster for an SH figure arts one that I wasn't using, so 
Uh, in terms of the detail, it's not supremely detailed. I might add some uh, some bits and pieces with a with a silver sharpie just to accent some bits of the uh, the blaster itself. Um, but for the most part, it's a good sculpt. Um, again, seeing as they're going with uh, butterfly joints in all the troopers now and most of the figures, I'm not surprised uh, that we'll probably see a you know a reinvention of the first order stormtrooper at some point. Um, I'm happy if they leave it though. Uh, they got the elbows right finally. Um, and to be honest, I've spent too much money on First Order Troopers to start rebuilding a different army because the articulation's better. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this is a reasonably cool figure. Um, a really cool figure. I, I like Captain Cardinal. I think he's a really good character. Um, go and read Phasma and then read Black Spire. They're both... Uh, hopefully they'll get a third part. They're very much, uh, Black Spy is very much a sequel to Phasma. So I definitely recommend checking those books out. Uh, they're both written by Delilah S. Dawson. Yeah, they're both written by Delilah S. Dawson. I just had to lean over and check. Um, I hate to get that wrong. But another cool First Order leader to have at the front lines. like to find a head sculpt to take his helmet off and switch that out with that would be cool too um, I might have to dig around my Marvel my Marvel stuff to try and find a an appropriate head sculpt for our uh, Captain Cardinal so I'm gonna leave it there if you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already hit the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned because I'll have some more videos for coming up very soon until then may the force be with you always